Gigantic's launch was shit. Hey everyone, Bailco here. I've been thinking about making this video for ages, but I've always stopped because it feels very doom and gloom. But let me first start off saying I love Gigantic. Wow! Big surprise there. I've spent hours of my life dedicated to instructional videos on teaching people how to play the game, entertaining videos about showing you gameplay at a high level, and I'm not the only one. There's tons of creators out there who have been doing the same thing as me. People who have the same amount of love and passion for the game as me. Basically, there's always been an intense amount of love, loyalty, and support from the community surrounding this game. I like to call it the cult of gigantic. But let's address the problem here. The game's launch was... was a little bit of a red flag. So let's get into that. There's no way to sugarcoat that the success of a game's launch really dictates where it goes, if it lives or dies, how many players it has, things like that. The game released without first crediting the team who was responsible for the original game, Motiga. All right, that's fine. I'm sure the people who made the game will be on 10th page. Special thanks! Yeah, there it is! Honestly, after seeing the trailer for how hyped the team was... I'm excited to finally share that we're going to be bringing back Gigantic with our development team. ...abstraction to be coming in and working on it. Honestly, I kind of let that slide. Obviously, they ended up fixing the game's credits and ended up finally crediting Motiga, which was awesome. And that kind of gave me hope. Oh, they do listen, right? The game is back. Holy shit. My literally entire YouTube channel is dedicated to Gigantic. I basically have mostly Gigantic content on my channel. When the game was just about to be released, the devs released an article uh, about where they wanted to go after the game's reception. Uh, the problem with this was, <laughs> this article was kind of like hard to find. I didn't even end up knowing about it until someone DM'd it to me. But it basically talked about how depending on how the game was re received by the audience, they might really continue to develop it further, which is kind of a strange roadmap. It's like, if it does good, we'll do things, rather than a clear direction of where they want this game to be and exactly what this game re-release is. A little confusing, honestly, and I feel like that murkiness has been just permeating through this entire re-release. So basically, telling us that if the game does well, they'll release more heroes, more maps, more skins, things like that, which is exciting, right? It's exciting news to hear that I wish that was broadcasted everywhere, that I wish we really knew more about. And knowing that that was a, a goal actually kind of made me feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel. But as the months have rolled on, there's been one obvious trend. The game has glaring issues that honestly just are not acceptable in this day and age where we have games that release that are working, have working features and netcode and things that help you play the game. Speaking of Marvel Rivals, I have a review of that. Click here to check that out. It's not acceptable for a game that costs any sort of money, right? The game should at least function correctly. Hate to say it, I know everyone feels this way, but I'm not even mad at this point. I'm just kind of disappointed. There are so many ways that we could be learning about what's going on behind the scenes, things that could be easy for them to just send a message along. Oh, hey guys, sorry, you know, we're having technical difficulties. We appreciate your patience. Here's the general time frame we think things will be fixed by. What's exactly gonna be fixed? Be <laughs> descriptive on the, uh, the patch notes. The patch notes leave out things that they fix which is nuts to me. Why wouldn't you celebrate the accomplishments? I'm sure I'm saying things everyone knows already and everyone feels, but I've felt like I've needed to say this myself as an avid follower of the game since its first release. Back in what, 2017? How could a product launch in a worse state somehow than the first time? 
around. And honestly, the devs lack of communication makes it feel very cold, where at first their enthusiasm for how much they seem to love the game. I'm excited. Kept me interested, kept me hooked. But now I don't feel that same connection. I wish that they were more dedicated to talking to their community. I feel like that would help ease a lot of our worries about what's going on with the game. It makes it feel like they don't care. And even if that's probably not true, how would we know? Who is telling us how they feel? I'd love to know their thoughts about how the release went, what their plans were, and how they plan on fixing this. And if they plan on fixing this, I'm, uh, I'm available for an interview. So let me know, devs. I was lucky. I got to play the game back when it first released. I got to ride that hype wave all the way until I got to play the game and meet so many people that I'm actually still friends with now. It's incredible how a game can bring you together as much as Gigantic has. I feel awful for the people who discovered this game in the private servers back when the game went dead for the first time. People actually discovered this game, became good at it, and became actually avid lovers of the game. Probably more knowledgeable than many, uh, many of the original players, to be honest. I feel bad for these people because finally, when this game they're hyped about and found out about after it died the first time, the game is finally out to the general public and these people don't even get a working product. Anyway, enough about me spouting things you already know, you're already thinking. What I'm saying though is if you're a dev and you're working on Gigantic, I urge you, I urge you more than anything, start talking with your community. Show us that you care. Give us that two-way communication that we need because we love this game. We understand that everything hasn't been going according to plan, but you telling us that you also feel that way? Hell, even an apology for how things have went. Maybe not an apology. <sighs> Just tell us what's going on. That's all we need from you. Just be, be more open with us. Anyway, I just wanted to say that Gigantic deserves better. Us as fans deserve better. And honestly, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but devs, I hope that you can do better moving forward. I actually have a podcast linked below. So if you wanna watch that, it's talking about the competitive stuff of Gigantic and how the community has banded together to make events happen as usual. Back from the dead.